I misspoke at the end of the second part of the walkthrough and call, said that I was going to return shortly with the fourth part, but this is actually Miami Dunmother of EQ2 Traders Corner with the third part of the walkthrough for the Scrivener's Tale, which is a 24 quest trade skill line in Chaos Descending, and I have broken it into five video chunks and five write-up chunks to make it a little more manageable to follow the 24 quests. This chunk of it will focus on sick people and Detroxulus the Plague Lands. So let us begin with our friend Gita Borel that you better not be getting tired of yet because you're going to see her several times more. She's just kind of handling you and parceling you out to various people and so forth. So this next one, she's sending you to find Delindra Morgana. So the first thing is to teleport down so you're in the main part of the library. If you'll notice, you see the quest book there, but it's hard to tell from the map because the dots overlap. It's on the first floor, not the second floor where you are now. So don't bother running for the elevator. It's going to be the long way around. Just bop yourself over, head for the hallway, go most of the way down the hallway, but do not go into that big room. Hang a right. There is a side room. And this is the merest librarian quarters, and there's Delindra. So she gives you the information, and boom, that quest is done just with some little basic information about all these sick people and the dead body they've got because somebody has actually died from it already. And she asks you to do a little research for her. So while she's busy caring for them, you do a supposed in-depth examination of several of the ill people so that you can then compare them to the dead person and see if you can figure anything out. Here's the corpse. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. And you find a rune stone. Doesn't actually drop into your bags, but you found one. Just have faith in it. So you tell her about the rune stone, and she's decided that it's a bubonian rune stone, and um, that means Bertox is likely involved, the god of disease, Bertoxulus. So she decides that you need to contain the stone, and then we can destroy it before it infects anybody else. She doesn't really think that you, you've been infected yet or that she's going to get infected, but she wants to be safe rather than sorry. So you're going to craft a containment box. And that containment box is going to require four Dupalm Lund sorry, 28 total Dupalm Lumber, nine Reef Cluster, 18 Nimbic Hide, and 50 Celestial Sandpaper on a woodworking table. And instead of running around, I'm going to actually click the right thing one of these times <laughs> and then use a woodworking table and find the recipe and bada boom bada bing nice and quick while I'm right here. This is much faster than running upstairs, well running to the elevator, then running upstairs, and then going to the woodworking table and jumping back down and running back here. I don't have my AA respect right now to summon tables with enough of a short cooldown time to want to deal with that, so I made some equipment instead to bring with me. Bada boom, bada bing. Right click it to examine it, place the rune so stone into the box and seal it, and speak to Delindra again. That's the end of that quest. Then she wants you to go into Detroxulus itself. Thankfully, you're very close. Go back to the end of this hallway. Hang right into that room that you I told you not to go into before, which is the South Wing Stacks. Teleport to the Prophecy Gallery.
in the prophecy gallery there's the green and purple zone line portal thing <laughs> anyway go into detroxulus and try to say that 10 times fast when you, you're tang tangled from fibro and other things and just plain exhaustion and see how well you do. <laughs> Most of us are probably just going to call it disease or detrox or something like that. To get your bearings, there's where you zone in. But when you zone in, you're going to be facing this direction and 90 degree left turn. Go down the hill. Look, sick people sprawled all over the ground. I guess that might give you a clue. And if you zoom in close enough, then you can see the green yicky stuff coming off them. Talk to the one that's still upright, <laughs> even though he's not doing all that well. He's going to flip out because you destroyed the runestone. Apparently that runestone had been sent into the library so that they could find a priest of knife, a healing priest, to bless it, reverse the disease that was on it from the Bubonians who intentionally got them sick. The Springview healers basically got them sick intentionally. Um, so he goes on and on. You can read it all, find out all the background. And then you need to make healing stones first so that they have some chance of surviving. You will need to make 12. You do two at a time. So you're going to need lots of basilisk meat, reef clusters, silvered flecks, strangler roots, and 600, no, 300 celestial coal. It's quite a bit to do. Again, no mass production. This is a quest to combine. You have to do each co combine by itself in order to update the quest. Since in theory it's going to go pretty quickly, I'm just going to keep on. I'm not going to bother pausing. The more I pause while I'm tired, the more likely I am to accidentally close out the video. And my video editing skills are not yet up to the point where I feel comfortable tacking videos together and editing sound after the fact and so forth. Once the dust finally settles, which may not be until after event season ends, I will sit down with the video package that I bought and learn the proper way to edit videos and put in subtitles and all that fun stuff that you see in polished videos. Until then, you're just going to have to deal with me tripping lightly over my tongue and just pushing through when I make an error. <laughs> it can be a real challenge at times because I have spoken more for these videos than I normally speak in a couple of weeks. Most of my talking is done by my fingers because my particular side effects with fibro include some serious issues with coherence at times, but that coherence is only with verbal. I can type it just fine, but when I'm trying to speak it, I'm having words come out of my mouth that I didn't mean to say, and it just gets all tangled up. Fortunately, I can laugh about it. It is what it is. Hand over 10 of the healing potions. Theoretically, you're keeping two for yourself as a just-in-case. And he's using the others to keep them alive long enough for you to go get a rune stone. He then tells you that you're going to need to deal with the Bubonians in order to get a rune stone. That's the only place he knows of to get it. So he gives you a recipe for a rogue furt, and I'm mispronouncing it intentionally because it is intentionally spelled differently than the, che the normal cheese. And he's going to give you the recipe for it, but you have to provide the materials other than the cheese itself. So two flitter fintang, 12 strangler root, eight nimbic hide, 50 celestial kindling. And as you can see, I just clicked on this pretty little fire pit here, which is actually a stove and keg sort of thing. So. It works for your cooking combines. And it is very smelly cheese, apparently. You don't want to know what those furry rogues have been up to. There's probably toe jam or something in it. Okay, 
It's done. Now you have to go find a Bubonian rune carver. There's an issue with quest books on some NPCs not displaying properly. This is one of them. And of course, as I'm looking at that map to show you that tiny blue dot, the public quest NPC is going to go right in that same area and then disappear. But you can have other things on the map that kind of distract you, but that blue dot right there is going to show you where you need to go. I have an actual waypoint also listed on the walkthrough on the website, but he's the only non-aggro thing in the area. And so you kind of lie to him and tell him that you think that the, the runes are pretty and you want to wear one as a necklace, and he gets all sly and sneaky and agrees that it's a great trade because that spreads disease even more, and he's quite happy about that. And you gave him something that he loves to eat. I decided to evac instead of walking or flying. It's slightly faster. <laughs> and that wasn't that far to go. And then you will return to Delindra with that runestone in hand so she can do her little blessing bit. And I really am having zoning issues tonight because of the two copies of the client that I have going, as well as the recording. Still pretty fast compared to some people, but I'm spoiled, and I'm not used to it taking that long, except when Test needs to actually open down a zone that has been closed off due to inactivity. But back to Delindra we go. And I zipped past that. I want to do that again so you can see. You give her basically the whole story in short form. Or you say, I've got no idea what's going on. I'm just rushing through conversations, smiling, nodding till they give me stuff. Yeah, okay. Some people are a little punchy. And not just me. She goes through the blessing. You get the quest completion. Then you go on to the next step in which you are actually going to have to make a divine antibiotic potion to use on the custodians. She gives you the rune stone, she gives you the antibiotic potion recipe, and you're going to need a chem table. So rather than run around, I'm just summoning another one. Finding the potion, you need 30 wanderwine fruit, 25 reef cluster, 24 nimbic hide, 50 celestial candle. That's a pretty solid little potion. That's a lot of ingredients. But you need something pretty solid when you're dealing with something that's been triggered by Bertox's followers. Nasty, nasty stuff if it already has killed one person. And you get to be the hero. You get to be the one that cures them. Go, you! You better be proud of yourself for this. So you go over to the custodians. Get the little heartbeats running around them there because they're happy that you've done that. They're healing. There's two of them. They respawn very quickly. They will, after they have those little hearts go across them and everything, it will depop and then they will repop as prone, ill people again. So that many people can be doing this quest at the same time. So basically, you're just going to go around, pick eight of them, and cure your little fingers off get them properly. I, thank you. I suppose I should put the pony away, but he helps when I'm out, actually out harvesting, so he can stay for now. There we go, eight of them. Now you give the stone back to Delindra, whether you realize you do or not, and she's going to head for 
Detroxilis herself to heal the encampment there and to apologize to them since she's the one that destroyed the rune stone that they were planning on getting blessed the first time and that made them suffer more. So it's time to go back to the elevator once again. You are really wearing a path <laughs> between the elevator and Gita at this point. but she's the one that deals with the transition from one NPC to another. So this ends that section of the write-up. You get three different things here. You get the suffix title of the Rune Master. You get a Mask Delorme pattern, and then a recipe scroll for Divine Weapons of Sky, which is another raid recipe weapon Raid Weapon Recipe Scroll. Um, the mask is rather interesting because in addition to having four white adorn slots for crafting, which will come in handy with those nails, but it's also got a neat look. If you like the Springview Healer look. So you can happily make yourself one copy to go in your wardrobe for easier switching back and forth and then make a second copy and adorn it to use actually for the, the crafting adornments. And as you can see, an Arakan gets their horns kind of sticking out through the, the hood. Everybody else does not have those horns unless um, Sarnak will have something weird sticking out too. But that's normally a smoother hood without the horns. And this concludes the third chunk of the Scrivener's Tale walkthrough. I will be back momentarily with the, sec the fourth section.